We're gonna cook rice on top of the stove. To cook rice, the ratio is one cup of rice to two cups of water. So I have here two cups of rice and four cups of water. Just place the water in a sauce pot. Add about one teaspoon of salt and bring it to a boil. Once the water reaches the boiling point, we will add the two cups of rice. We're gonna stir it until it comes back to a boil. We're gonna let it simmer until most of the water recedes. Once the water recedes, we're gonna turn off the heat, put on the lid, and we let it sit for 10 minutes, and the rice will be perfectly cooked. Our water is boiling. We add our two cups of rice to the boiling water. I want to stir until it reaches back the boiling point. Just make sure that rice, if you don't stir it right now, your rice will clump out together and it's not gonna be really nice. Not gonna have a good texture. Okay, it has reached the boiling point. At this stage, I wanna take it down to a simmer. And without the lid on, we're gonna let it simmer until most of the water has dried out. And I'm gonna show you that stage in a moment. Water has simmered to the point that it has receded. And this is the point that I usually just stir it, put my lid on, turn off the heat, and let it sit for 10 minutes. And in 10 minutes, we're gonna check it out. Our rice has been sitting there for 10 minutes. I will just taste check it to make sure it's the way I want it. It's perfect, still al dente. I'm gonna fluff it up on my pan. One thing I like to do to the rice is just a little bit of vegetable oil. To me, what it does is it stops the cooking process because it will coat its rice kernel with a little bit of fat and also it makes it nice and shiny. We'll fluff the rice and then it's ready to be used for serving. But remember, it's really hard to hold your rice. This rice will keep cooking. This is for immediate use. Don't let it sit for too long. And that is your finished rice. Cook on top of the stove top.